Hello everyone, um, it's been a while, um, like three or four months, and I, I do apologize for that. The truth of the matter is, is that I got pretty busy with um, school and work related stuff, and also my computer's been having some issues, but I feel like I can record this while I'm having said issues, so it's not that big of a deal. I guess I also just lost some motivation to make videos, but here I am, um, ready to talk about something else. So let's let's go. So today I want to talk about the Unwound album, Fake Train. Now Unwound is a post-hardcore outfit from Olympia, Washington. Uh, their most well-known lineup and. Their first album with this lineup consists of Justin Trosper on guitar and lead vocals, Vern Rumsey on bass, and Sarah Lund on drums. Now, like I said, this is their first album as this trio, but technically this isn't their first album. Their first album was actually recorded in 1992, and it featured a different drummer whose name I forgot off the top of my head, but... <laughs> For whatever reason, he decided to leave the band, and the group did not really know what to do with this first album. It wasn't released until 1995, so what we got instead is, for their first album, is this one right here, Fake Train. Now, this is the first Unwound album that I've heard. I actually heard it for the first time in late April of this year, um, and this was my first album from them because I wanted to listen to their discography in mostly chronological order and I gotta say I'm really glad that I did that because each subsequent album that follows Fake Train sort of kind of builds upon it itself but even with that in mind I still think Fake Train is just a fantastic album from front to back like it honestly astounds me at how amazing this album is especially for our first album well first album but you, you get the point of this this album is 12 tracks and about 45 minutes long and i gotta say that this album doesn't feel like 45 minutes it goes by pretty quickly i'd say and i think that's due in part to the fact that the songs on here are very consistent and very energetic all throughout the track listing there isn't like a dull moment to be had here the album opens on Dragnalis, which is just this very, very strong opening track. It really um, sets the album up for something great. It's amazing. It has a lot of energy to it. The lyrics, while not the most amazing thing ever, are very cathartic and, and angry. It talks about boredom. And it's a lot of the lyrics on this album it talks about like you know boredom anxiety other other anger related stuff it's very angsty it's very um you could say it's emo ish but i th think they work really well and fit the music on here um and then after you get dragnalist you go right into lucky acid which is this really really like aggressive like very aggressive track nervous energy has this um soft loud dynamic and a lot of the tracks on this album have this soft loud dynamic that they that the band is able to play around with very well like i think other examples would be like Hon honorisis also i gotta mention star spangled hell and the closing track feelings real like all of these tracks just have this great soft loud dynamic and I think the band is really able to pull it off extremely well and then after Nervous Energy we get the one two three punch of Valentine Card, Cantina and Were Are and Was or Is and <laughs> these three tracks are just honestly stellar it's definitely my favorite moment on the album I'd say because you have the very aggressive Valentine Card, Valentine Card the, the the slightly more melodic but still very raw and heavy uh, cantina and then were are and was or is 
is this very um, soft instrumental that I think works really well to round out this trilogy of tracks. And the second half of this album continues this energy with tracks like uh, Gravity Slips, Star Spangled Hell, Rat Bite. Uh, Pure Pain Sugar is probably my least favorite track in the track listing, but it's even that track is phenomenal. Also gotta love the <laughs> ridiculous album cover. That's, um, that's definitely, um, <laughs> It was, it was definitely meant as a joke, but, you know, I, I still love it. It's it's pretty funny. On the whole, I think Fake Train is just a phenomenal album. Like, if you're wanting to get into um, Unwound's music, I'd say this isn't a bad place to start. In fact, I would actually encourage people to, like, go through their album and cr go through their discography in chronological order because I think it'll become apparent with the later albums, which I'll talk about later, but... Yeah, definitely, Fake Train is definitely a great starting point if you want to get into advanced discography. It's pretty noisy, it may be inaccessible to some, but trust me, things get even better following this, and this is already an amazing album, so... Yeah. Anyways, that's all. Um, I'll catch y'all later. Bye!